Annie and Haley LeBlanc, along with her family, turned into internet sensations after Annie's gymnastics videos unexpectedly got a lot of popularity on YouTube all the way back in 2008. She spoke about it to YSB now in 2018, saying that her parents put her on YouTube not for fame, but just so her family members could watch her do gymnastics, and the whole thing started from there. Following in the footsteps of many other internet stars, Annie and her sister turned their unexpected fame into real careers as an actress and singers. Now these two are some of the most talked about teens in Hollywood. But what exactly have these sisters been up to in recent years? And how successful are they? Today, we're going to tell you how it all began. Juliana Grace LeBlanc, more famously known by the name Annie LeBlanc, is a YouTuber, singer, actor, and ex-gymnast from the United States. She was dubbed one of the world's most famous teenagers by Business Insider. We started seeing her on the YouTube channel Bray to Lay when she was only four years old, and she has since amassed a pretty large online following of her own. LeBlanc first came on YouTube Red's We Are Savvy before she left and went over to the Brat Network, where she played Ryan McAdams in Chicken Girls and the films of the franchise, as well as the titular role in A Girl Named Joe. That's not all. She's also known for her role as Lex in the Nickelodeon buddy comedy series Side Hustle. Annie also has a younger sister named Haley LeBlanc, who's a rising celebrity in her own right. Just like her older sister, she competed in gymnastics from a young age, but stopped after becoming a level three gymnast. She's also following in her sister's acting footsteps. She had a role alongside her sister in Chicken Girls and has bagged several other roles like in Brat TV's Mani and Hotel de Lune. Haley is making sure that she learns all she can from her older sister as they navigate fame together. Anyone who has a sibling knows that it's not the easiest thing. Sometimes it gets tough, especially when you both live and work together. So, are Haley and Annie really as good with each other as they seem to be for the camera? Are Annie and Haley close? These two sisters share a lot of the same interests, so it was only inevitable that they are actually really close despite their four-year age difference. They have very genuinely shown their love for each other time and time again. In 2019, Annie even admitted her favorite things about her younger sister to Hollywire. And here's what she said. She's really funny. She's got a really good heart, very good sense of humor. She is, for the most part, always in a good mood. That's not the only time she said good things about her sister. There was also the time she shared an endearing birthday post for Haley in 2020, writing that she adores her and feels super lucky to be her big sister. Haley also throws in pictures of herself and Annie throughout her feed, although most of them are rather lighthearted, like a photo where she can be seen scratching her itchy chin on Annie. But when she wants, she also knows how to show her love in a serious way. She captioned a photo of them sitting in an open field with, Friends come in handy, but family's family. It looks like these sisters are taking Hollywood by storm and backing each other up along the way, too. How lovely. The hit and run from 2020. Annie was badly hurt in a hit and run accident on July 23, 2022. Jules was injured by the drunk motorist who struck him and then ran away. Jules and a few of his friends were crossing the street in Santa Monica when a drunk motorist ran a red light. The intoxicated driver was detained right away by the Santa Maria Police Department after emergency services were called to the scene, and firemen and paramedics responded immediately. Jules LeBlanc's face and leg were bruised, bled, and scratched, but she didn't have any broken bones or suffer any of the really bad injuries. The ex-gymnast spent the next three weeks resting and soon made a complete recovery. Her team posted about the report of the accident on her Instagram account. Jules and her buddy had never uploaded anything on social media before that. A few days later, Annie posted a video on Instagram of her injured foot in a boot. She may have hurt her foot in the account. She also seemed to have bruises under her eyes in another Instagram video released by Haley. Her privacy was definitely violated as a result, and she was put in the public eye when she was still angry about what happened. Why did Annie change her name to Jules? Annie didn't actually change her name. The YouTuber's full name is Juliana Grace LeBlanc. Annie was actually just a nickname she'd gotten. Annie disclosed to her fans in October 2020 that from now on, she wanted to go by the name Jules, which was clearly another pseudonym she had been using all along, but not formally or publicly. You'll get her former Instagram account if you search Annie LeBlanc, but the only message there is, new account at Jules LeBlanc. Besides that, she also changed her name to Jules on YouTube and Twitter, so it seems that this is a permanent thing. Fans were initially confused at the change of name, but for the most part, the shift appears to have gone very smoothly. That must have been a big relief for the internet sensation. Just how rich is Jules? As of 2020, her net worth stands at 500000 She takes a lot of her money for her performances and also makes money through her YouTube channel and brand endorsements. Her vlogs also supposedly make a lot of money, but she also sells her stuff and gets money from it. She promotes products such as Beats. Even though we don't know exactly how much money Jules has sitting in the bank, her net worth is somewhere between six hundred and eight hundred thousand. and $800,000. That's pretty impressive for someone who started off on YouTube and wasn't even trying to be famous. 
It's no shocker that a pretty big part of LeBlanc's money is from vlogging. CNBC reported that in July 2019 alone, the teen sensation had an average of more than 800,000 views throughout nine different videos. As per reports by G2's Learning Hub, on average, advertisers dish out $0.18 cents per video, with Google getting 45% of it. Keeping those numbers in mind, CNBC estimated that LeBlanc could have made about $80,000 in just a month, and that number two was on the low end of the estimate. To put things into perspective, a typical U.S. worker earns about $45,000 a year. This means that in one month, Jules, as a 14-year-old, was bringing home way more than the average person's annual salary. When LeBlanc isn't busy coming up with content for her channel, she's learning lines for one of her multiple acting gigs. Then she also has her jewelry line, named Annie LeBlanc. For $15 to $30 a piece, fans can buy bracelets and accessories from the Young Stars collection. The line is definitely also making her some money. What has Haley been up to? Let's talk about Haley now. Haley has moved on from the YouTube world and is taking her rightful place in center stage. In 2020, she was given the lead role of Harmony on the internet series Chicken Girls, after her real-life and on-screen sister Jules LeBlanc walked away from the series. She also talked about it saying, I thought it was going to be real difficult, but nothing really changed, the talented teen said to J14 in November 2020, before the show's season 7 premiere. She revealed that she and her sister still have plenty of scenes together, so it's still a whole lot of fun, and it's always been fun because they're real-life sisters on the show. Along with the role as Harmony on Chicken Girls since the show's pilot in 2017, Haley has also appeared in the internet shows Manny and Hotel de Lune after entering the girl group Run the World, which also consists of Karis Rogers, Jessalyn Grace, and Corin Joy. Haley has started to work on music as well. She said to J14 that it was pretty cool how it all started because their musical group wasn't started for fame and fortune. They were just some girls who wanted to make music and have fun. Even though Haley does have big dreams to continue a career in Hollywood, the actress also has other plans which consist of finishing school and finding a way to be a normal teen. In an interview with The Girls World in March of 2021, she also revealed that after high school, she has plans to go to college. Her dream is to go to Yale. Besides that, she said she also hopes she gets the chance to do some directing and writing for short films. Seeing her behind the camera would definitely be interesting. Haley has been working on a book series. The game is officially afoot, and we know a 13-year-old YouTube star who's on the case. Haley LeBlanc, who rose to fame alongside other members of her family on the Bretelet channel, is the author behind The Haley Mysteries, which is a series of YA novels largely inspired by Nancy Drew. The first installment of the book series, The Haley Mysteries, titled The Haunted Studio, came out on July 19th. Book lists blurb for the book describe it as ideal for fans of the teenage detective Nancy Drew, which makes sense since LeBlanc channeled the iconic teen crime fighter for her writing process. Haley said that she's always loved reading books and felt that it would be fun to make a mystery series since she's a huge fan of horror, crime, and mystery. Not to mention, she also loves movies and TV shows. She's always loved Nancy Drew novels and thought it'd be fun to make a contemporary version that today's teens could read and relate to. To put her own spin on and modernize the teen mystery genre, LeBlanc took from her own experience in showbiz. Annie vs. Haley, The Nickelodeon Bake Off after finding fame on YouTube, where for now she has about 1.5 million subscribers, she also appeared in a cooking competition series distributed by Nickelodeon. In 2019, the show titled Annie vs. Haley first aired on Nickelodeon, and it garnered almost 400,000 views. In the 14-minute episode, the sisters, who've racked up 7 million subscribers on their family YouTube channel, Bretelet, are given exactly one hour to see who can bake the best. The two sisters are helped by a complete stock of ingredients and recipe cards to smooth things along, but as always, there's a catch. The recipe cards only list the ingredients needed for the cake and the basic order in which they're put into the mix. None of the sisters are told the specific measurements of the ingredients or cooking time. When they get to the halfway point, the sister will slide into midway mayhem. This is where a mystery judge presents both sisters with the chance to spin the wheel of mayhem. This segment is a crucial part of their baking endeavors. Possible challenges they could be taking on include family favorite recipes, donut decorating, and of course, a special birthday cake for the long-running Nickelodeon program SpongeBob SquarePants. And that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more related news. Until next time, we'll see you right back here. Bye.